Now, if you're anything like me and you've got the nasty habit of resting things on top of your MacBook when it's closed over, sitting on a table or something, like I've done here with my headphones, which is something I do all of the time, then you probably want to consider putting a hard case on your MacBook. So what I'm going to do now is just quickly show you this case going onto my M4 MacBook Air. So what we've got here is the top piece for the case. And then if I just flip this all over, this is the bottom piece of the case. And we can see that quite easily because it's got the feet on and it's also got some ventilation slats there as well. However, when it comes packaged, it comes with this bit of foam that separates the two pieces. Now I'm going to use that foam there as well to rest down my M4 MacBook Air just so that it can't get scratched and stuff. Now just on the edge on the inside here for both the bottom and the top piece, we've got these catches on either end and they just quite literally press down and catch onto the MacBook. And here's the inside of the top piece and we should be able to see around the edges again, we've got these little catches which just press down and grip the MacBook. So the piece that I'm going to put on first is the bottom piece. Now, just before you start attaching this, it does have some protective cellophane on the inside. So let me just get rid of that. Now, I've just put this foam piece on the table once again, because I'm just about to rest my MacBook on it. And what I'm going to do is put my MacBook so it's got the lid side facing down. So this is obviously the underneath. And then this is the back edge of the MacBook here where the hinge is. Now, I'm just going to put the bottom piece of the case on. And as we can see, there's the long cutout at the back. So you know definitely that this is the back piece of the underside of the case. So what I'm going to do is just flip this over. Now I'm just going to start off at the back here. And what I would suggest you do is get these two edges and then just press them right into the corner of the MacBook up there. And then just start pressing down across the edges and what you're going to find is that it will start guiding itself on and you'll probably start hearing clicks like I've just done there and then just click right the way round like I say just go around it maybe a few times and then there's like a longer piece at the back here which has got like a catch on it so just give that a bit of a push down as well and just go right around the edges of the case here now we can actually do more of this when we've got the top piece on but right now that bottom piece is on so I've just flipped over the MacBook ready to put the top piece on now the orientation is important so as you can see here that's the front edge there and then what we want to do is to line up the top piece so that the logo is on the top edge here i don't know if we can see that there because it's kind of black on black but it says masizo in there and also this edge here underneath has got the long notch on it which lines up with the space here on the bottom piece now to put the top piece on i'm just going to line up the back first here so i'm just going to literally slide it until it drops on so that's just dropped onto the back of the macbook there so i'm just going to press down a bit on the back now you can go around and press down more securely once it's all on but the back part is on there then i'm just gonna go around the edges here now you might hear some of these click on but as you do it you'll also feel all these just like popping in and popping over onto the actual top of the macbook now once you're basically happy that both the bottom and the top parts of the case have gone on correctly you can always just go around and just double check the catches let me see if i can get a bit closer in onto this one and you'll see what i mean so that's one of the catches and as we can see it is proper gripped onto the top part of the macbook there however what i'm going to do is to just also give everything a good pinch like this and what i'm going to do is just go right the way around the actual macbook and do this all the way around including both of the side edges so as you can see i'm just thoroughly making sure that all the edges are all pressed down together and then once you are super happy that both halves of the case have been applied properly then just go around onto the top part first there or the bottom part doesn't matter just remove that cellophane across the top which is the protective piece for the top part and then just take off the bottom part as well now as far as i'm concerned this case has gone on really well there's no gaps or anything around the edges and stuff for the macbook and the screen closes down properly and everything like that so yeah as far as i'm concerned this is actually something that's really worthwhile putting on your macbook as far as protection is concerned now let me just show you a couple of things here so as far as like the screen opening and stuff like that 
that's how far it goes back with the case on now as far as i can remember that's kind of the same angle that it was going back to without the case so basically you won't be restricting your usual viewing angle with the case on and then as we should be able to see here i've also put on the keyboard protector as well and this is super easy to put on it literally just slides on and kind of like guides itself over the keys now just to address some stuff that i've seen in the comments section to previous videos that have done like this where people are saying things like yeah those types of cases they damage your screen or like you know they will break the hinge on your screen or they will indeed even scratch your macbook and stuff like that none of those things happen and here's why i can prove that so i've got a very similar case here on my m4 max macbook pro and as we can see they're essentially the same type of case and they go on exactly the same made of the same materials and stuff i dare say they're probably made in the same manufacturing facility as well now this particular case is over three years old and it's over three years old because originally that case was on my m1 max macbook pro and neither of these two macbooks have suffered anything to do with these types of cases being on them and it was on for about three years on my m1 max macbook pro so once again absolutely no problem with these types of protective cases going on your macbook now what are the negative points for a case like this well for me there's two first one is they really are a pain in the ass to put on i've got to be dead honest you do have to go around and make sure that you've clipped on all the clips properly however that is exactly the same for any type of case like this so is that a bad point against this case in particular no it's not because they're all like that and the other thing that i don't like is the feet here i think these should have some kind of rubber on them or silicon or something like that just to give them a proper grip on the table now i'm not saying it's super slippy but you know it's not that hard to push it across a table which you know is not something that i'm into so yeah that's the real big thing that i don't like these things should really have proper rubber feet on them but aside from that i think the best thing that i can say about these types of cases is that they have definitely saved my other macbooks from getting scratched up and stuff and especially my m1 max macbook pro which looks like it was bought yesterday because that is in mint condition because i put one of these types of cases on it when it first got it now just before i forget this particular one actually came with the keyboard protector as you've seen before and i actually like that keyboard protector it goes on dead easy and i would prefer to have keyboard protectors on it from dead honest because i'm a little bit grubby and then on top of that it also come with two usb c to usb a adapters i've not shown them because i've not tested them now the one that i've got here is under the name masai so there will be a link to it in the description below but what I recommend you do is follow the link and have a look around to see if the exact same case is cheaper under a different name. You have to remember these types of cases are just branded under tons and tons of different names. So you might find it cheaper like under a different name. You know what the case looks like. So just go and have a quick look. Also, you may not need like, you know, the keyboard protector or the adapter things and stuff like that. So once again, you could get it a lot cheaper than what I've paid for my one. Anyway, that will do for the video. If you've liked it, please do give us a thumbs up. A sub to the channel will be absolutely awesome. I'm David Harry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care and goodbye now.